Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Today we are going to continue playing with the great big schmear with the big palette knife from Gail Burstyn and Life and Splatters because I love that technique. And the last one that we did that you guys saw, Desire, didn't quite end up how I wanted in terms of it was pretty dark. So today I kind of want to try the last bit of the one that, that one that we did where I, I layered a cup and tilted it out and then I put, I did some schmears through it, but I want to use white Amsterdam today instead of black. A couple of things are actually a little bit different. Let me show you my paints. Um, so this is all mixed with Liquitex gloss medium, some GAC 800 and Floetrol. So the first one we have is Decorate Americana Decor Metallics, 24 karat gold, leaving a little mound and then disappearing. Okay. We also have Liquitex Basics Turquoise, such a pretty color, bright and happy. And that's really what I wanted with this one was I really want those metallic cells to pop through. So that's my goal here. Um, and I think this is going to be pretty. I have actually added a tiny bit of Sargent's um, Pearlescent Medium to this one and to my darker blue just to give it a little sparkle. I didn't put very much in this one though, so I'm not seeing it a lot. But you see it more in this one. This one is Golden's Prussian Blue. And that shimmery sparkle is definitely visible in this, so I'm excited. And I also have here, last but not least, my Arteza Pistachio, Pearl Pistachio, which I love. And I really wanna see some cells of this popping up by itself. I really hope that that works. Okay, this one is Amsterdam White, mixed with some DecoArt Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white. And again, this is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and some GAC 800 until it's kind of mimicking the consistency that I had when I did it with the Amsterdam Black. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, no big deal. Okay, so now you see my colors. That's a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. Let's layer a cup. I think start with some Prussian Blue. And I'm just gonna pour it down this side because I'm not doing a ring pour or anything like that. I'm just doing my thing. Okay, we're gonna put some white in there. And some turquoise. And some pistachio. I really do want the pistachio to show up on its own. <laughs> some gold. Put a little bit of white on the other side of that. For that size canvas, we need about 30 ounces of paint. And I have not mixed it thick. It's pretty thin because I want it to be able to spread around. I'm just gonna kind of mix up the order a little bit and play with how I've got this in here. So I think I'm gonna fill this one all the way up and then maybe we'll fill up another one. Stop there with that one. That's pretty cool looking. All right. Get that out of the way. It's so weird staying in one place. <laughs> okay. So let's move. Let's turn it this way. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold down, like a runway sort of. pour on top of. I'm just going to spread that out just a little bit. Oh, that'll be fine. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I last. I am indeed. Okay. when we started shooting. <laughs> kind of like old times though. All right, let's put a little bit more paint in our cup. 
I really like what's happening in here. I think those colors are beautiful together, so I'm very happy about that. I may not use as much white in this second cup because there's a lot in there and we're gonna be smearing with the white. So I want more of the colors than I do the white at this point. ready on it. Probably pour half of this on this side and then maybe the other half over here. Okay, here we go. take this down that way first. There is a lot of paint on here and that's okay because my goal right now is to just cover the canvas. I'm not concerned about composition right now. I just want to spread this out in a nice thin layer. That's awesome. I'm gonna wipe my hands off real quick. So now what we've done is we've laid down a coat of paint that has a lot of color in it. And my hope is that when we put the Amsterdam white on the back of the big palette knife and we do those giant schmears, that we're gonna get a lot of these cells popping up. So that will be very cool. I hope it works. Cross your fingers. Okay, so this is the same one that we've been using. All right, and I'm just gonna take some of this and put it on the back of this. Not a lot. Okay, let's do a schmear. Here we go. That's very cool. Come on, baby cell. Come on, baby cell. A little bit starting in there. A little bit starting, we'll see. We'll see if it does it or not. It takes a minute or two sometimes. I do see some starting up and Gail is here blowing around us. Yep, we're gonna get cells. Okay, let's do that again. I feel like maybe I had a little bit too much white. There is some air bubbles coming up in here. That's okay. We're gonna keep going. I have an idea. What? Um, if you have like a paper plate or something, put a little bit of paint in the bottom of it and then dip it in there. But I like doing it. I like too. doing it this way. It's like a mad scientist. <laughs> okay, I think I wanna put maybe a little bit more of the blue, light blue. 
here and then try that again. So I'm going to come right in here like this. Because there's a lot of gold in that section. Okay. Let's do this again. I don't want a lot on there this time. Okay. Are you ready? Right here. Okay, so there's definitely more color in that one after having put those two down. And I'm just going to go in here as well. That's good so far. I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of blue down here. Ready? Okay. So don't dig, just glide. And I just did that. Ooh, but that's pretty. Okay. I want to keep going with this because I do think it's going to go. Let's torch it though and see what happens first. definitely bubbles coming up so that's a good sign um see we have not gone over the corner here for some reason okay i kind of love this i kind of want to take one of these and just kind of go backwards this way pull some of that color through That's really pretty. Even if we don't get a lot of cells through there, I still like the way that looks. Okay, I'm going to put some more white on here. And just in the name of experimenting, let's put a little bit of turquoise too and see what happens. Ready? Again, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the darker blue down here. Russian blue. And a little bit of the turquoise as well. Let's 
just smear it without the Amsterdam and see what happens. Ready? Go. See, that's really pretty too. I like that. I have all this paint on the bottom of it, so I'm going to go back this way. Stop doing that. It's not good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put some more blue down here. And then we're going to do another with the white. Exactly what I was hoping would happen, but there are some cells popping up. So I'm gonna wipe my hands off and then we're gonna torch it again and see if more cells wanna come up. And if it's not exactly how we want, I mean, it is, I think it's still really pretty. And there's a lot coming up through that thicker white strand. There's a whole bunch of little tiny gold cells in there that'll probably get a little bigger if we stretch them out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if I want to tilt it or not. Let's torch it again. So there are some cells coming up through here. The question is, is am I patient enough to just sit here and wait? <laughs> hey, easy there. <laughs> uh -huh. You're very funny. They all know you're funny. So. I like it. I'm curious about what's gonna happen in there. Honestly, I don't know if I have the patience or self-control though to just leave it like that. I don't know. What say you? We leave it? We say leave it. Huh? You've had so much success with things like that popping out with amazing Milky Ways. Yeah, but so there was a few things that was different with the Amsterdam with the black. That was mixed with mix. It didn't have pouring medium in it, it didn't have other pouring medium in it, it didn't have GAC. This I did have Liquitex gloss medium in there and I have satin enamels in there as well as the Amsterdam and there's GAC 800 and Floetrol so it's not exactly the same formula that was creating all those cells before but I am seeing but look what's popped up just since you've been talking yeah okay let's torch it again I just wish there was more Prussian blue in it. Maybe I'll do some BAMs. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go BAM through here and just add some darker lines following. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, we're gonna do one more through here. Too fast, you do want paint to come off of there. So. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna do one more over here. I'm 
maybe one down here. Before it got cold. <laughs> okay, we have a request from the peanut gallery for more gold. <laughs> I guess we could put some more pistachio in there. Okay, we'll put a little bit of gold in there for our HOA. That's pretty. I like that. Pretty cool. I like that. You know what it really needs? Some hot rod flames. <laughs> Everything needs hot rod flames according to you. There's a bridge too far. All right, so we didn't get as many cells as I had hoped, but I still like it. I like where the schmears were. I love how it blended the paint there and swiped it essentially. We are getting some little tiny cells in the center. I don't want to point because I'll drip in there. But I like the, the addition of the, the BAMs. <laughs> like Lee and Jeremy say BAM when they add the solid ribbon of collar through there. We might need a little bit more of that, I think. Hold on. Want more of the Prussian blue through here. I like that better. I think we're going to stop there. Um, so, it's not exactly what I was hoping would happen, but then I wasn't using the exact recipe that I did before. And, you know, sometimes it's nice to experiment and see if other things will work and do the same thing or not. And that's okay. I still like this. I think it is going to continue to sell up some more. Um, I think it's really pretty, too. So, it's good. Hi, awesome. I feel like I have paint all over my face again. <laughs> Big thing of paint on my face in the last one. All right, this is awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon. Okay, so here we are a few days later and it is dry now. I really like this piece a lot. Very floating, very relaxing, very calming. 
beautiful colors in there. That Liquitex turquoise is gorgeous. And of course, my favorite Prussian blue. And this was the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the Schmier and Bam <laughs> using the Gail Burstyn's great big schmears and then adding some embellishments of individual colors through there with the, the BAM <laughs> technique <laughs> with the Prussian blue and then HOA's amazing suggestion of adding some gold through there. That was hilarious, by the way, you're so funny. Um, but I think the gold really did a lot, a lot in terms of adding interest and bling. It's very, very blingy in here. I really like this. I think it's really pretty. I love the softness of it. I love the cells that did pop up. We didn't get a ton, but there are some cells in there from the Schmier technique. And of course, that's, again, you know, this wasn't Amsterdam and Floetrol or Amsterdam and Mix. This was Floss Medium. And there was satin enamels in there, but we got some beautiful cells. That part's beautiful. So I really like the Prussian blue bams, <laughs> the embellishments in there. I think they add a lot a lot of depth. I love the colors. This is very soft and floaty up here is really, really, really pretty. Where you see that turquoise combined with the gold. It's just gorgeous in there. So this was a lot of fun and, you know, it's definitely given me some more ideas. I definitely want to play with this some more. And, uh, you know, very cool stuff. Really neat. So... <laughs> very soft floating peaceful feeling in this one which I I really appreciate sometimes things can look kind of very strong or aggressive and just to see some art that's that gives you a very calm relaxed feeling just looking at it is a pretty awesome thing I think so it's kind of a either ocean waves sort of moving or clouds <laughs> moving above head or a river I don't know but I really like this one a lot so this is our I think I'm going to call it floating. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out with us. I really do appreciate you and, you know, all your lovely comments. You guys are amazing. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We will see you for the next one. Have a beautiful day.